Hey guys, I'm here with Cody McNeil with Utah Hydrographics here in Beaver, Utah. And today we're gonna actually get my bow and Josh Jansen, who's, uh, who's our marketing director at Scree, we're gonna get his rifle today in the summit pattern. So anyway, let's, let's just briefly talk, Cody, about, about the process. Um, I, I think, you know, I know originally before I ever uh, became familiar with the process of hydro dipping. I just kind of figured they had the film and they put it in water and just dip the bow. There's, there's actually a lot more to it than that. And so maybe just give us Cody the Reader's Digest version okay. of, of kind of just the process and, and, and how that all comes together where you end up with a pretty cool looking rifle or bow dipped in your favorite pattern. Okay, so what we do is, is take, for instance, this rifle stock. This rifle stock was um, prepped with with a um, sealer type base coat and then painted in, in a base coat that, that goes with the film that we're dipping, so the scree film. This is the color that it takes. If you were to put red or black under it, it wouldn't turn out the right color. So every, every film has a distinct base coat. Um, everything's sanded or sandblasted um, and and then it just goes through the process. The process is basically you're, you go from, let's say, a carbon fiber stock, you seal it, you put a base coat down, and then you go to the hydrographics. The hydrographics, um, we, we put a film down on the water and then put um, an activator over the film and it hydrates the film and then turns it into basically like a liquid ink and you can dip the, the item through the film and it transfers the, the ink onto the item you're dipping. And so then basically your item's wet, you put it into a shower, rinse off the whole object and rinse off all the excess film and then it comes out and we, um, we try to bake it most of the time. Um, put it in the oven, let it bake and dry for a good hour to hour and a half, and then um, and then we throw a uh, Cerakote clear coat down on top of it, and that makes it hard fin make a hard finish like a car, you know. But right. we on guns we use flat um, <coughs> flat clear coat. It's not a right. glossy, but we do do some glossy. Like this red here will right. be a gloss when we get done with it. So so there's a significant amount. <coughs> there's there's a very significant amount of prep work. That goes into to actually where you find, get to the final stage yeah. of actually dipping the bow or the rifle, whatever you end up. So, so, it, so. From, from stock, you would probably be mm -hmm. an hour and a half of prep work before you throw paint right. down. And that's yeah. if you don't have to, to sandblast it. Cody yeah. was telling me earlier that if you if they get a a, a rifle in that's got a significant amount of scratches or damage to it, then they actually have to sandblast it, which takes even Takes even more, more time. work. So there's there's a lot more that goes into to, to dipping these these guns and, and these these bows and different things than just the actual dipping process. So okay. um, with that said, and we just the one thing we want to let um, especially our our uh, our Scree uh, customers know is that um, the, the the summit pattern is available uh, in in hydrofilm. Um, you guys can get a hold of Cody here at Utah Hydro Dipping. Um, you can go to their website at www.utahydrodipping.com. Utah Hydrographics. Okay. My, yeah, my www.utahydrographics.com. And we can, we're also on Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, you can check out Phone Scope and Boring Rifles. They, they're all linked together. That's some of our other companies. So. Awesome. So anyway, guys, um, with, with that said, we're going we're gonna to move into the, uh, the dipping process. We're going to show you how this is done. And, uh, and be sure to get on over to Utah Hydro Graphics, graphics if you want to get something dipped. Um, get a hold of Cody. Um, and I think we talked about doing a special little promo for that. You can So right now for the month of December, we're doing $100 rifle dip, dips. So it's, it's a good deal, and we can put screeps pattern on it. And for hundred bucks and awesome. pretty good deal. And normally it's about 150 to 200, so. Sweet, so anyway guys, if, you're, if you've ever thought about having your bow or your rifle dip, now's the time to do it. Jump on over to Utah Hydrographics, get a hold of Cody and he'll get you lined out.
And the object is, is to lay the film down without any air bubbles. Because any of the air bubbles, there'll be an air pocket underneath. And when you dip through it, the air pushes up and makes it to where the film won't stick on the item. So like, if you had a big old air bubble like this and you dip through, you'd have a big tan. So that pattern, I mean, it's, it's so at some point, does it, it still stays all together as a film, right? Correct. It, it does. You, you'll see when I spray the activator down. So right now it's hydrating it, the water. It's um, soaking into Soaking it. into the film and softening it, basically. And I spray the activator over it and it turns from a solid to a liquid. It's a, and then it's literally, and then that you, you liquid, have a liquid pattern just floating correct. in that water. Basically ink. ink. It's not really ink, but, but for layman's terms, yeah. it's, it's ink. Right. Liquid ink. So now that's pretty much liquid. Liquid, you gotta let it sit there for about 20 seconds.